Okay. So um, I've had a parent request um, some clarification on how to find things in Canvas. So I have opened up a student, um, test student page. This is not um, an actual student in my class. This is just a test student. And I'm, I always instruct the students to start from their dashboard and then go to their class tile. So in this case, we're looking at mathematics. Um, I always like to point out here is the to-do list. So each one of these icons has a different meaning. This one says there's an announcement about their MobyMax placement test. This one says that it's an activity that needs to be completed. This one says it's a discussion. And then as we can scroll down, you can see there are activities to be completed. This activity, just to, um, I'm sorry, this one, just to clarify what these symbols mean, it means it was assigned on September 10th. It's worth 10 points and it's due on September 15th by, by midnight. So they have all through that Tuesday to get that finished. Everything has a one week timeline. On the other side of the screen, you see that these are the links to our, um, oh, and there's a new one that just showed up for Think Central. I have not, I have not played with that one yet. So there's their MobyMax to take their MobyMax placement. And there's a reading inventory that all of the students should have taken by Friday of this week, the 18th. So the students can, if they want to take something off their to-do list, they click here, but that doesn't mean that it's done. It won't come off their to-do list until they actually complete the activity. So for this case, we can look at modules. This is how each student or each time we come into Zoom, we open in modules. And the modules tell the students what the activities are for the day. We always have a help page. And then here is the unit one for a fourth grade. And the activities have been dated. So these are the dates that we do these activities. And so you can see here's the week of September 14th through the 18th, which is where we are right now. This was the week before we started. And so these are the things that the students should have done previously. And then there's a little help um, section here that shows different ways about getting through Canvas. So I'm going to come back up to this navigation bar. And to look at student grades, I'm going to click on grades. And again, this is a test student. So you can see it says test student. This is not an actual student in the class. And so this tells me that this activity was turned in. It got a zero. And then there would be extra information for that. Oh, it wasn't included in his stats. So that's good. All right. The next activity was turned in. It was late. It has a 90%, so 9 out of 10. Right here is a conversation bar. So I can click on that and it says, good job. You can fix number four and 17 for a higher score if you like. So I always comment, give them information, give them a little feedback. You can see this activity says it's missing. So students can click on the missing activity. And then for this particular one, there's no submission they need to go and find out it's because it's so late so they can click on submit assignment and then they can get the information and then go and find that activity so this was their homework and remembering pages three and four so for them to submit that they're going to need to do a media upload and so the media upload will basically take a video of their page as they hold it up in front of their camera. I ask them to hold it and carefully and slowly with good light on the page because I am grading directly from that video. And it's really hard if I can't read it. So I do my best. Um, you can also have the students drop their papers by school and I can grade them and there's an envelope to return for the students then they can pick them up and drop them off once a week is fine. Um, so let's go back to that grade page. I'm going to leave that site without submitting since I don't have my picture ready to go. All right. So as we come down, we can see the things that are missing. 
Down here, here's an activity that was turned in, 100%, 10 out of 10. Here are activities, they're due on the 22nd, so these are not late yet, there's still time. Here's one from previous, it's no longer got a date here because it's so old that that activity is closed. So if they didn't do it and it's closed, then they need to come and see me to reopen that assignment and talk them through how to turn it in um, after two weeks late. So basically every assignment has two weeks, the first week after it's been assigned to get it done, and then another week when it would be late, but that doesn't affect their score, just lets me know that they're late, doesn't affect the score, um, or if they don't do it in that two week period of time, it goes off of their to-do list and they have to see me if they would like to try and submit it. Okay, at the bottom you can see, this is the percentage of what's been turned in. This is not the percentage with these things missing, it's the percentage of what's been turned in. So you can see that these things that didn't get turned in will affect that percentage, right? So I hope that this helps you. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Um, don't hesitate to contact me. Remember, I'm here to help the students every day. Um, I'm in Zooms five hours a day um, from eight to nine for the fourth graders, and then again from 12.30 to 1.30 for the fourth graders. From the fifth graders, I'm here from 9 to 10, and then again from 1.30 to 2.30, and then I have a general help time from 10 to 11. So if they need help on anything, they're welcome to come to the 10 to 11 time. Um, but I'm in Zooms for five hours a day, so yay. Let me know if I can help. Thank you. Bye-bye.